Hello YouTube, this is SpiderVids here, aka Spabo, and welcome to a brand new series called Warcraft 3 Custom Games, and this is going to be episode 1. Now today we're going to be playing on a, well, custom game, uh, it's sort of like multiplayer, but we're going to be playing against the AIs, or the computer. So as you can see here, we've got the team set up, as you can see mine is called Spider, I'm going to be playing the human race, and I'm going to be on team 1 with the colour grey. The computer, and the third computer, the second and the third, are going to be the Night Elves, and they're going to be on the same team, one orange, one green. And finally, the fourth computer is going to be our enemy, and they're going to play on the Orc side in team four in red. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to go to the advanced options, and I'm going to set the visibility to always visible. Untick the last two, tick the first two. Go back to the map info, to which shows you a little brief about it, so that's a description. You can read that uh, at your leisure. So let's start the game, and uh, here we go. Alright, we are now in, and as you can see we're going to get some peasants, and we're going to make them harvest the gold mine. And we're going to build a farm, and a barracks, because that's what we're going to build first. Now, of course, for purposes we're going to build an altar of kings, because of course we need this uh, for our hero. Now we need to get some more peasants, so we need to click on our town hall, which is right here, and we're going to train some peasants. So let's train two move the rally point uh, to the gold mine so that when they start to uh, appear out of the town hall they'll uh, manoeuvre into the gold mine. So whilst they're doing all that, uh, let's have a look around. Oh, they've nearly finished off the... Uh, well, the farm's nearly done, so I think we'll move him uh, once he has finished the farm. Okay, we've got the indication saying jobs done. Uh, there's different uh, voices for different races, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, the features of this map, we've got um, a laboratory and we've also got four trolls guarding it so we need to get rid of those trolls in order for us to access the laboratory. Uh, the features in there you can get um, some tree cutters, I think zappers as well and also a zeppelin so we can fly over the trees as you can see there's trees here and we can fly all around the map which is awesome. As you can see there's another um, computer, well this is the one on our team in amber and as you can see they've built everything there and all our buildings are complete so let's just quickly go back to our base and uh, continue with our uh, build, well, our builds. We're going to train a Archmage, because I do like the Archmage. The reason for that is that the feature with the Archmage is that at level 6 uh, they can teleport, so yeah, from anywhere around uh, the place, except they can't teleport to the enemy base, so yeah. Okay, now we've got the barracks running, so we're going to train three footmen, and uh, they will cost 160 gold, and they will have well, they will require two food, so, okay. Sorry for the lag. Um, I don't know what's causing it, but oh well. Yeah, if you could see, if you could feel a bit of lag, then don't worry about it. Okay, there's our first footman. He's just arrived. Yeah, this might lag in a bit, so I apologise for that. Uh, I think it's because I must be running on this, well, running fraps on full screen, so that's probably why. Okay, let's see, have we finished off the lumber, lumber mill? Sorry, nope, we haven't. Oh, there's our uh, Archmage, he is called Nilas Arkinster. And we're going to go to our hero abilities and activate uh, Summon Water Elemental, which is our good feature to start with. Uh, we can also use Blizzard and we can also use Brilliance Aura, which is basically a spell ability uh, which adds more mana. That's the feature that I told you about earlier on, the mass teleport, teleports 24 of the players nearby units, including the Archmage to a friendly ground unit or structure, which is awesome and that is unlockable at level 6. Now then, we've got three footmen, so let's move them out, like so. And as you can see, we've got some, we've got a peasant uh, working on the trees. Now, of course, we need to get another peasant to harvest trees, because we need more lumber. As you can see, our lumber uh, number is 20 and uh, we need to get that to about a thousand. As you can see there's more gold than lumber so uh, we need more lumber. Now then the features within the barracks is that you can train a footman, a rifleman and a knight. The rifleman requires a blacksmith so we can go and do that now. Let's have a look. Where's the blacksmith? There it is. It costs 240 gold and 50 lumber so we shall build that right now and we still have a couple of uh, lumber left so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now then, let's get another peasant. And we need to move him to over here. Now, he isn't carrying any gold, which is good. Sometimes when you get a peasant carrying gold, and when you select a tree, and the moment they click on the tree, they automatically collect logs. So, 
yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, let's have a look at the other bases. I think they, oh, they've got, uh, well, this one here, Dark Terror. He's another hero. And he has got six archers. So we need to get uh, a couple of uh, riflemen now. Because we've only got three footmen. And uh, we might need more because, of course, as you can see, the trolls uh, vary between level two and level four. Two level four, one level three, and one level two. So we've got to be careful of that. Now, it's always good to move your peasants away from the mobs. This is because if they, um, if the mobs target the peasants, then they'll just automatically attack them. As you can see, it's night time and, all, and they're all sleeping. So, the moment I fire at them with my Archmage and my Footmen, and Rifleman very soon, uh, then they will attack. And it'll be a fierce battle, so uh, we better be careful of that. Okay, now in the Blacksmith, the features here is that we can upgrade our swords... Uh, our gunpowder, our plating, and our armor. So we can do all that, but we're not going to do that right now because we don't have enough lumber. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to train some riflemen. So let's get that peasant back to work. As you can see, uh, every time a peasant has built a building, it some he sometimes freezes there, so you're going to have to just move him out of the way. Now, we're, now I think we should have enough gold for a keep. Yep, so let's upgrade to a keep. This is our second uh, part of the uh, town hall it goes from town hall to castle so we first start so all we need to do is build a keep first and then move to a castle now let's train a rifleman we're going to train two of them because of course we don't have enough food uh, capacity so we need to build another farm again get a peasant as you can see he is hammering away now the cool thing with the human side is that you can't uh, get just well, you don't have to get just one peasant to build everything you can have two three or four um, which is which is amazing I mean with the undead all you've got to do is summon it and uh, it doesn't need to be built as it'll be built automatically that's if you're playing the undead for orc and night elf you have to wait for every single building to uh, be constructed so that's a good feature about the pet the human and the undead races now then, have we got any riflemen? Uh, yes, we do. There he is. Uh, the specs, well, not specs. The, um, the damage it tells you what they, what, how much they can do. Um, that goes up every time uh, you upgrade the uh, gunpowder or maybe even the um, armor and the swords and the weapons from the blacksmith. Now, each, um, well, each uh, soldier or whatever has a ability, so we've got Defend, which is what the footmen use to protect uh, skeleton sheep or skeleton uh, arrows from attacking them, and they just go into, um, well, shield mode, really, defend mode. So uh, I don't think we'll research that now. Well, we'll we will actually uh, build some more farms. As you can see, we've only got uh, 24 out of 30. Uh, if the food limit goes over 30, it'll just give me a notification saying build more farms because uh, they don't have enough food capacity. Now, the capacity goes up to 90, so we need to wait until we've got enough farms to uh, increase the upkeep, so yeah. Okay, now we have a keep. Now, because we've got a keep, we can build a arcane sanctum where we can train priests and sorcerers. Priests are really good in battles as they can heal you, or heal you, your hero, and your minions um, up really, so we're going to build that right now. Job's done. As you can see, because we built the uh, arcane sanctum, we have got a farm complete. So we need to build another one. Now the peasants don't do a lot of damage, which is quite weird. Well, actually, no, it's not quite weird. It's pretty normal because, of course, they are weak. However, if you click on the keep, you can click on call to arms. What this will do is it will t turn all the peasants into the. Uh, Militia, which is basically the warriors, where they will have shields and everything, and they should have more damage. So, uh, yeah. That's if your base is under attack. Now, let's have a look at the em uh, sorry, enemy base. Now, if now he's got um, a grunt who has just lost a bit of health. He must have killed those trolls. Yes, he did. Oh. And we've got a lot of trolls there, and grunts. And what they're trying to do is defeat those trolls behind these trees. Now they need a catapult for that, uh, just to blow down the trees. For the peasants, 
Um, they can build workshops which you can use to train mortarmen and what they can do is they can just use a rocket to blast down the trees. So yeah. Oh. Job's done. There we go. Now let's train a couple of priests. I think we'll train four because of course we need enough uh, to heal our minions or our um, army up. How are we doing on the uh, lumber? Really good. How are we doing on the gold mine? Yeah, now, the trouble is with the gold mine is that uh, the moment it collapses, we can't get any more gold, which means we have to go to another gold mine. There's our first priest, and he can use heal, which costs five mana. Uh, so, that's fine. Everything's okay. Uh, we're good to go. So what we can do now is uh, defeat the trolls which are just up to the south of us a uh, bit of lag oh well no it's going back up again that's good yeah sorry for the lag like I said before uh, this is due to the fact that uh, I must be running this on uh, full screen sorry full size uh, so you can see everything clearly now I'm gonna use the mouse wheel and just scroll in well not well basically go down to um ground view or bird's eye view, like that. Well, it's only 3D, but yeah. Now, that's a good feature because then you can see exactly what they are harvesting very close up. Like a close, like um, a close eye shot maybe, on the camera. And yes, I have upgraded to a castle because that is the last thing we need to build, or upgrade. Because then, we can build a griffin, um, yeah, a griffin aviary, which summon, which, uh, which you can use to train griffins. As you can see, it requires a castle and a lumber mill. The scout tower, this is used to protect your base from all areas. You can upgrade them to guard towers, and uh, if an enemy attacks them, the guard towers will fire at them. So, yeah, that's very good for protection of your base. Now then, we should have enough uh, on our army. So let's move out and defeat the trolls. So you can either click on the attack button or right-click on, on, on the troll. As you see, they're attacking. And the footman's going to die because he's very close out in front. He's like a tank. <laughs> if you know WoW, then uh, you probably know what a tank is. It's, the, it's basically the uh, class that goes first, and then uh, the DPS come next, and then the healer just stays at the rear. There we are. Our footman has been defeated. But luckily, our army is okay. We've got some heals. And the Archmage has, doesn't get to level doesn't get to level two because he was too far away. Anyway, that's okay. Now then, we ha we didn't use our mana, so we've got a little bit of potion of mana just in the event uh, of loss. We also have the mantle of intelligence, which increases the mana intelligence by three when worn. So yeah, as you can see, we can open up the Goblin Laboratory, and we've got four features. We've got um, a zapper, a Goblin zapper, so we can hire that. Zeppelin, we will use that because we want to transport all of our um, minions to the other side of the map. We also have a Goblin Shredder. Um, yeah, let's have one of those as well. This will help us with our cutting. And we also have a Reveal. Now, if the map was um, not on Always Visible and it was all dark, you could use this. It'll only cost 50 gold. And you can use it to scan around the area of a map. And it can also detect uh, invisible units. So let's get the uh, Shredder to um, harvest some trees. Now, every time you get a shredder, um, they can harvest up to 200 in a stack, so that's pretty good, so we can get 200 times more. You can also use them to, def to blow down or get rid of the trees over here. We're not going to. We're going to get a mortar team, though, to uh, blow down the trees. Now, the more mortar teams you have, excuse me, uh, the more trees will be blowed down. So we need a workshop here. Going to build that at the front. Let's see what they're doing. Now they're just patrolling still. They're waiting for the trolls to be... or waiting for the, to kill the trolls. Um, this Dark Troll Warlord has got um, an ability called True Shot Aura, which is basically for the hunters. Uh, that's an ability that basically detects um, a radius, really, and just gives more damage. Now then, as you can see, um, the enemy base has upgraded the spikes, which means that, of course, the damage from the Orc Boros and the uh, 
well, yeah, just the orc burrows. Uh, when it's a battle, when it's a battle, uh, the peons will go into the burrows and start firing arrows. They can also detect air units, so that's so that's uh, bad for us, but good for them. So yeah. Uh, how are we doing with the shredder? He's doing really well for a shredder. Goes up higher than him. Okay, now he goes back and stacks everything back up in the lumber mill. As you can see, it says 200. So we've got more lumber now, which is awesome. Yeah. Workshop's almost done. There we go. Now we can sum now we can train two mortar teams. So these are um two guys basically connected together, I think. I think they must be glued together, I don't know. Uh, but they, what they can do is they can blow down trees, so we'll train some of those. The castle looks good. As you can see, it's nice with its nice greyish type. As you can hear tapping, that's the uh, farm being built. And my frame rate is going down, but it'll go up soon. Done. Now, in every map, well, I don't know about every map, but in ev well, in this map, anyway, we've got three dragons and three kodos. Now, the objective is to try and blow these as quickly as you can, but you need an army for that. So, let's look at uh, upkeep. So this is upkeep. So the gold income rate is 100. That'll be changed to 70% in a minute when I get it to up low upkeep, which means it'll be 70% income. So because then my army will have been grown to such a large size that it needs a portion of of my income to sustain it. So yeah. So when we get to 41, which we'll do in a minute, I think from the mortar teams once they've finished training. There they go. Oh no, 38. Okay, that's good. Right, so what we're going to do now is train some knights. As you can see, we've changed from uh, sorry, no upkeep to low upkeep. So, yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to destroy these trolls to the north and just see what we can do. As you can see, there's the other guys. Uh, well, the other computer. This is, the, this is the green area. The night elves are trying to get through those trees, but unfortunately they can't because they haven't got the uh, abilities like that we do. Now we're going to get a zeppelin. And we're going to transport these to the night elf area. Actually, no. Actually, no. We're not. We're going to just leave them here for a bit. We're going to open the trees by just doing an attack ground. There they go. And the tree should go in a minute. There they go. Now, if they keep doing that, they should be able to destroy the trees on the side. As you can see, the shaking. There we go. So we need to get rid of all these trees. And to the right of them, but to the left of us. And we can destroy that tree. Oh, we don't want to do that one. We don't want to do an attack move. We want to attack that tree. There we go. There we go. Now the route, now the area is clear. Okay, now then we need to get some we need to get some riflemen going. Now unfortunately we have run out of capacity, so we need to get uh, let's get two peasants to run some farms around the area. Okay, and this shall be the end of uh, part one, so um, I will see you guys in part two. So see you in a bit, guys. See you in part two.